Go ahead and mingle. I'll let you know when it's time. I guess I'll mingle? I see you two are working together. Yeah, Willie asked me to help with his special project. Well, that's good to hear. Is it ready? Good to go, Clem. It'll work. Actually, ah, uh, I was thinking maybe we should name it. Something cool. Yeah, we absolutely have to name it. I thought you'd make fun of me, but hell yeah. Let's name this fucker. You made it, so we'll name it after you. Willie Jr. That's like my name, Alvin Jr. It is. I used to hate my name. Not anymore. Welcome to the world, W.J. <laughs> I found them. Okay, Clementine. These here are our official Erickson psych evaluations and probationary reports. Okay. I don't get it. Well, these explain why all of us got sent to this school in the first place. And how we got stuck here for as long as we did. So, what's the game? I figured if we're all going on this crazy mission together, might as well know who we really are. So, I'll read some of what the adults thought about us. And you have to guess which one of us fits the bill. I'll make sure it's someone you've actually met. This'll be the first one. While otherwise a remarkable student, blank continues to be plagued by fits of anger, uncontrollable cursing, and repeated physical altercations with the senior faculty. Um, that pretty much describes everyone in this room. <laughs> <laughs> hey. I'm the most mild-mannered, troubled youth you've ever met. I never curse. He doesn't. That's Ruby's file! <laughs> Holy shit, really? Guilty as charged. Our sweet Ruby here was kind of a nightmare when she first showed up. Ooh. She once chased the home ec teacher around the yard with a barbecue fork this big. No way. <laughs> Don't worry. That was a long time ago. I mean, I can totally see it. The first time I met Ruby, she was all, That little motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> I said I was sorry. You guys want to know why I got sent here? Dude, no. Chronic masturbation. Willie, I speak for all of us when I say nobody has ever, ever wanted to know that. What does that mean? Uh-uh, don't you dare. Uh, anyway, maybe we should change up the music? I like all kinds of different music, I think. No, it's alright. People seem to like this. Good enough for me. Let's just move on, then. I didn't realize how many of us we lost. Remember that Justin guy? And Theresa and Jasper, that one girl with colored braces, and Joey, Maddie, Lamar? Erin. She had the braces. Alex, Dewey, Trey, Stephanie. Holy crap, how many of us died? 34. Whose is it? Violet's. Should we read it? I, uh, I, I could tell you guys my story instead. What got me sent here, I mean. Only if you want. It's not great. I was hoping you'd tell me. So... My family was stupid rich. 
Parents gave me everything I wanted when I wanted it. Except for one thing. Singing lessons. God, I begged my dad, told him I wanted to be a real musician. But all he said was, you get to be happy or you get to be rich. Can't be both. I know now that he was just trying to teach me a dumb dad lesson, but I hated him for that. So I decided I'd teach him a lesson. I thought, I'll break up my parents' marriage. That hurt real bad, right? So I broke into my dad's credit card accounts and made all these purchases in his name. Did this for over a year. This is how rich we were. He never noticed he was spending a fortune on a mistress that I'd made up for him. But I made sure my mom did. Sent her all the receipts for the hotel rooms, the jewelry, all of it. They had a fight all night long. He denied it. She wouldn't have it. I sat in the corner and cried to help it feel more real. When their divorce was final, I told them the truth. I said, you get to be happy or you get to be rich. You don't get to be both. You know... Those two would have been happily married forever, but then I had to go be a vindictive fuckhead. I came here the week after. I don't even know the person I'm talking about. It's like all we have in common is the same name. They said we were bad people, Clem. They weren't wrong. Still, none of us deserve to be ditched out here in the middle of the forest by the people that were supposed to make us better. Sorry, this was supposed to be fun. I guess I'm not really a game person. Don't beat yourself up. You said it yourself. Clem needs to know who she's leading into battle. Hey, I've got an idea. Do you guys remember when Minnie would sing us Don't Be Afraid when all of us used to get scared? Of course I remember. I helped compose it with her. Could you maybe play it for us? If I was here, she could sing the words, but... Yeah. Yeah, I'd love to, Ten. This is for you, Minnie. 